Hello, friends, and welcome to this midweek devotion. Taking a break this week from what we've been doing over the last couple of weeks as we've looked at those seven capital vices, it's not a huge break, but today is a special day on the Christian calendar. It's Ash Wednesday, the day that marks the beginning of the Lenten journey. That journey where we focus on the cross our, and our need for a savior. In many Christian traditions, this day would be marked by a ceremony, a ceremony in which the ashes of the palm fronds from last year that had been burnt would then be placed on the forehead of the follower of Jesus. That reminder that we are like grass, that we are like dust. From dust we came and to dust we will return. Not just a reminder of the mortality of our humanity, but also a, rem a reminder of the death that comes with sin and brokenness, a reminder of our need for uh, the cross of Jesus Christ, the penalty that was paid. This reminder that uh, will take us to Easter, where we will come together and declare he is risen, he is risen indeed, and because of Christ's sacrifice, we are given new life. I find it significant that the mark of that cross is placed on the forehead. That same place where, as a young child, a child is brought or a new believer is brought into and before the church and the waters of baptism are placed on their forehead. Those waters that mark that person as belonging to Jesus Christ. The waters of that baptism that symbolize that we have died to ourselves and have been raised to new life in Christ Jesus. There's a couple of passages that I want to read a couple of passages that remind us of what Christ wants for this and what God wants for this relationship that we have with him. We read these words from Joel chapter 2, verse 13 through 17. Rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love. And he relents from sending calamity. Who knows, he may turn and relent and leave behind a blessing, grain offerings and drink offerings for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, declare a holy fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, consecrate the assembly, bring together the elders, gather the children, those nursing at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Let the priest who ministers be minister before the Lord weep between the portico and the altar, let them say, spare your people, Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? This idea of rending our hearts and not our garments, this idea of bringing our devotion that, that shapes our hearts and are not to be used for uh, to impress other people. That message is uh, Christ in his Sermon on the Mount gives a very similar message. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. When you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not, like be, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into the room. Close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will re reward your fasting. 
when you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head, wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen. And your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And then Jesus would go on and uh, uh, say words that we used last week. Do not store up for yourself treasures in heaven, on earth where moths and vermin destroy, where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. This reminder during this season of Lent, as we participate in uh, the journey to, of, of Christ to the cross, where we think about the glory of Christ's sacrifice for you and for me. And so during this season of Lent, we are inviting you into a journey of devotional practices. Today I received from one of the worship team a packet. Included in that packet is a devotional. Uh, it's from the Today Reframe Ministries, and uh, this is a devotional practice will, that, that will take us through that journey of Christ to the cross. You will also find in that packet a couple of letters, one from the council, one from me, one from the deacons. And during this season of Lent, we are encouraging us to participate. And I, I would encourage you to explore that packet. There are things in there for children, things in there for adults. And let us join together in this journey to the cross as our hearts and our minds are shaped by our Lord and Savior. Thanks again for listening and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he lift his face towards you and